guys so today in this video we will discuss the difference between parquet and da delta file with simple example and we will see how we fix tiny file problem issue so coming to uh, the difference between parquet and delta file so let's say if we have a large data set containing information about our cells store so using parquet we can organize the data in column wise uh, so each column your customer id your product id is stored separately so when you want to analyze your sales train you might only need this specific column uh, such as your product id your quantity used so using parquet you can efficiently read just these columns without having to load unnecessary data which can definitely speed up your analysis so parquet stores data in a column fashion so we don't need to fetch whole row and you can just look for a specific row and uh, that would help to speed up our analysis so that's the parquet uh, so what is delta so delta file would mean it follows your asset transaction so suppose if you need to update some sales record uh, due to a price change so using delta you can perform these updates as a transaction uh, that ensures your transition will either be updated successfully or or maybe none of the uh, transaction would be recovered or failed maintaining the consistency of your data so it e either gets succeeded or failed uh, so that's what a delta does and it has the asset capability uh, so we can track we can go back a uh, version uh, if, if we did some accidental delete we can go back uh, using delta uh delta that's that's the main difference between parquet and delta so coming back to resolving tiny file problem so on last video we saw uh this 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 file was around 4.5 gb and um, the total size was 4.5 gb let's say if we go on scan the file size is 4.9 gb but the total file is 98,290 and if you see its file size is around just 15.4 kb so this is a clearly a tiny file problem issue so how to fix that is let's say if i load that in in our global temp uh, test one so this code does the data load to test one and it takes take around three minutes uh, so i converted that to a delta using delta and then that that information gets stored on your test one table uh, so let's say comparing to parquet i store that into test two and uh, time duration uh, to store the, the information is uh, nearly same in this one took around uh, converting to parquet took around 10 minutes whereas converting to uh, converting to delta took around 10 minutes while, while converting to parquet uh, took around nine minutes uh, so if we if we check account uh, just by converting to delta it took around 52 seconds just to count uh, these number of records uh, this is around 46 million it took around 52 seconds because this is a tiny file so we are running the query on top of tiny files so likewise even on parquet it took nearly around the same time 50 seconds so if we if we run a command log, like organ uh, optimize uh default dot test one so this is that's the region of using optimize is is it works only on delta table so that's that's why i have converted this into a delta first uh using delta to test one uh, so optimize command only works uh, if your table is converted into delta uh, so if your table is in parquet the optimize command would not work so once we run our optimize command on on test one this if you see the matrix it gets added to four so 98,000 files gets converted into four files and if if we now run co count asterisk on uh on on certain filter condition it gets result in 12 seconds so before using the tiny file it took around 50 seconds to run whereas after running or optimize uh, it it gets uh, executed in just 12 seconds so we can simply clearly see uh, the effects of tiny file and uh, how we can resolve that using optimize 
uh, and this this would drastically increase our query performance so hope this makes sense to you and if you like my channel uh, please subscribe and encourage me to create more videos thank you bye